everybody, and welcome to the Bob Stoops app. I'm Brad McMullen, along with Hall of Fame football coach Bob Stoops, talking about all the big stories in college football and in sports in general. And let's talk about a big one right here, college football playoff expansion. It looked like it was going to expand potentially to six, eight, even 12 teams. But a vote was taken, according to ESPN, eight to three in favor of expansion. But because of those three no's, they will not be expanding. And the big piece here, Coach, $450 million in lost revenue for the schools because of those no votes. I guess the athletic departments and schools doesn't need that $450 million. Wow. That's how good they're all doing. It surprises me. I thought when they, everybody talked about expansion, whether it be eight or 12, I thought it's inevitable and I thought how quickly can they do it, mm -hmm. that they'll have to do it because of everybody, all the lost revenue uh, over the past two years. But apparently not. Uh, obviously, when you look at who's against it, whether it, the Pac-12, ACC, and Big Ten networks get involved. Mm. And so that must also influence their money in different ways. So there's, there's so much to it. Uh, but to, to walk away from an 18 playoff or 12 team playoff and all that extra revenue is surprising to me. And when you really dissect it, again, a lot of the talking heads across the country say this has to do with Oklahoma and Texas joining the SEC conference coming up here in a couple of years. And Paul Feinbaum called the act of not expanding the playoff, quote, sad and embarrassing for college football. Not too often that you and Paul Feinbaum agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, that's okay. Hey, he's got a job to do. He does it. I'm sure he does it well. Uh, but yeah, just to turn your back on that mm. amount of money and the whole world, the whole country wants expansion, at least eight, if yeah. not 12 more relevant bowl games where players aren't opting out of, give all the champions of every conference an opportunity, give the at large, you know, the, uh, the, the group of five, a for sure opportunity to be in it. It doesn't really make sense uh, other than what are the behind the scenes actions of other networks if they don't have a piece of the playoff? So that, that has to be a piece of it. If we can you know, rewind the clocks to the first two rounds of the NFL playoffs and the exciting games that we got a chance to see with teams that wouldn't have made the playoffs if they had not expanded the playoffs, it brings more fan bases to the table, to the conversation. It gives more opportunity and more interest in college football for so many more fan bases in the last four to six weeks of the season instead of the usual five or six. And, and let's face it, the bowl games are in trouble now. So many seniors or juniors that are going to enter the NFL draft are dropping out of games mm -hmm. that aren't playoff games. So if you have an opportunity to make more playoff and relevant games that players are not going to you know, opt out of, you've got bigger TV markets, you know, great for the fan base, great for TV, on and on. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it'll be interesting to see how these next couple of years go and what, what we're missing. And I was surprised, again, with the Pac-12, who has had only two representatives since the college football playoff was established in 2014, actually make the Final Four, saying, you know what, we should keep it at four. Very, very surprising there. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, they haven't been represented in the last four years, I think, or maybe three, four years, and and uh, not have an opportunity to, to be involved in it. Again, uh, we'll have to see the behind the scenes uh, action that's going on and, and their reasons why as time goes, maybe that'll become more apparent. Something we will be watching here inside the Bob Stoops app. All right, other big story, NCAA is going to review the NIL policies, also the transfer portal to see if any tweaks are needed. It's been interesting in the last year, to say the least. It's been the absolute, and I've heard it, everybody has said it, the wild, wild west, and it really is. Mm. Everybody's doing whatever they want to do. You can go here, transfer there, transfer there. However many NIL deals you want to get, um, I, I think as much as anything, I get you cannot put the ketchup back in the bottle and bring, be all restrictive. But to have a certain amount of time, say, for the transfer portal, that here's your window of opportunity. Mm -hmm. So that coaches, schools, teams have an opportunity at some point to know your roster and, and, and what you're dealing with. And uh, so to me, just some kind of parameters to 
timing wise when this can happen and what are your two opportunities or maybe three through the year here here's your window of opportunity and then and same with nil how do you you know how do you get some kind of you know your arms around it or some kind of fence around it to help all the athletes not just one or two and or you know how you can you know how you can manage that to where it's 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 going to be you know the proper and and the right thing for young individuals and their families and and how do schools and and you know fan bases manage it yeah and oklahoma of course extremely active in the transfer portal this year can't wait to see those players on the field this fall all right another big story coming out of kentucky and one you're familiar with because your brother's uh, at kentucky right now Offensive coordinator now heading to the Super Bowl champions. Yeah, Liam Cohen did a great job for Kentucky last couple of years. Uh, my brother Mark, the head coach there, loved him. I mean, he, he's done a great job, just incredible job watching him play. Plays a physical brand of football, you know, running, passing. Uh, really did a great job for them. So uh, hopefully, you know, in the last few years, he's groomed somebody in his footsteps to come in and and, and uh, to coach in a similar manner, manner, or that Mark can find, you know, lure someone else that's maybe has a background with him, or, you know, another, you know, coach from somewhere that could come in and do a, a similar job. He did an awesome job, and I'm sure it's exciting for him to go to the Super Bowl champions and be a, you know, be a coordinator, good for him. But, uh, you know, Mark's done a great job there now for a long time, so I'm sure he'll find the right guy to keep it going. Don't forget, you can share the app with your friends. Yeah, everybody loves college football, so share the Bob Stoops app with them today. One tap away from sharing this app with all your friends and family. And remember, for videos anytime, just click on our video link. For Hall of Fame football coach Bob Stoops, I'm Brad McMullen.